Hey guys, Shebear1000 here. Today we've got this 12 volt fan. We got to put an end on it, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I think I've got everything I need here. I may have to do some soldering. So I've got my soldering gun out, or soldering iron actually. I've got it out. I know I'm going to need these and I'll probably need this. And a screwdriver. Now here's the cord we're going to put on. Now if you look at this, it's the same cord. Now apparently I needed this for something temporary and I cut it off of there. So um anyway let's go ahead and because i was looking for a cord to put on it and well i found that one and i, I kind of remember cutting it off but i don't remember what for okay so there's a couple phillips head screws right in here and there's your on and off switch and um so we're going to take these out first Set these over here so I can lose them. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'll probably have to be soldering some wires on here. That's be why I cut it off so close. Okay, now see, this one goes right past. All it is is a switch. It's a bypass switch. So I'll solder that on. And I'll cut this one right here. See, the one with the white one is the power. So they got the power one switched. So I'll cut this right here. And I'll solder these together and tape them because I don't have any, sh any heat shrink. So let's go ahead and... Uh, You know, I might be able to just, I'd like to solder them both though. Alright, so let's go ahead and, I can't get this deal off of here. I should run it all the way up in there, but I don't feel like taking that thing apart. Okay, so, let's go ahead and cut this off here. Uh, we'll make it a little longer. Alright. We'll solder these two together. And then I'll solder that piece back in there. I may just tie this into a knot there or uh, put a wire tie on it. So that way it'll be okay. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to strip these wires. Ooh, I'm going to strip. Alright, here we go. I know you guys don't want to see that. Alright. Alright, so now what I'm going to have to do is I got to plug my soldering iron in and we'll let that get hot and I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to, try to do this. Um, without either burning myself or screwing something up, so let me uh, clip some of this back here. I know I'm not close enough for you guys to see real well, and I'm sorry, but it's not really a how to on how to solder, it's just, uh, how to fix this damn thing that for some reason I cut off so so there's that one okay this what 
I'm going to do is just kind of twist this together. Maybe if I get my little fingers to work. Let's try to make this one a little bit longer. Yeah, this is a it's a 12 volt os oscillating fan, so pretty cool. And then we're gonna try it out, and make sure it still works, cause it worked before I cut the cord off. <laughs> but uh, and so now we wanna I wanna get up underneath there, heat that wire up. if my soldering iron will heat up hot enough and then I'm going to try to put it on the top here I always have trouble with these things man I can't I can braise I can weld but man when it comes to soldering there we go there we go, one down inside there. All right. There, okay, so there's that. Now let me grab my tape here. Cut a little piece of this off first. so we don't have the dirty end. I'm on with all my paw prints on it. Like I said, when I solder like this, I, I like to use the, uh, the heat shrink, but I don't have any, and every time I go get supplies for something, of course, you know, I forget to pick it up. Now, what I'm going to do here Is I'm just going to put a wire tie right on there instead of this piece. So let me grab a wire tie. Okay. Get this on here. Hopefully it'll go small enough. Uh, I don't know if I've got any smaller ones. I think I do, but I'm not positive. Sorry, I hit the camera. And that's just going to keep it from pulling out. So I think that'll work alright. Clip that off. Put this back in here. Now, we've got to put our, our little dealio back on here. Back out a little bit. Just now starting to get some rain. I could have, I went down, set up down to the end of the road to sell some stuff for a little bit. There was an old guy down there that sells tools and stuff, which I bought. I bought a lot of stuff off of him, a lot of tools, ratchets, screwdrivers, things of that nature. And uh, 
he's not he's only 17 minutes away from where we were at and his wife had called him and said that it was pouring there and the rain was coming our way well which it did sprinkle a little bit but I'm just now getting some actual rain rain but okay so there that is now let's take it out to her dad's truck and let's plug it in and see if it works alright so I just got it clipped on here we'll go ahead and unplug his phone charger and let's go ahead and plug the fan in alright now here's the switch let's kick it on cool now over here this is how you just flip that little switch there There's no high or low, it's just, it is what it is, but it blows out pretty good air. Alright. There it is. Okay guys, so, just, uh, I guess how to put a cord on a fan. I don't know what to put that under. It's not home improvement. It's not really a tip and trick, auto tips and tricks. I don't know. Anyway, there it is. Uh, <laughs> how you put an end on a fan that I cut off. So, uh, have a great weekend, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And uh, remember, tomorrow night, uh, I'm going to shoot for around 8 o'clock, 7 or eight I'm not sure um, but uh, I'm gonna go over to the clubhouse there and and spend the night in the clubhouse so again thanks for watching guys I appreciate it oh and tomorrow we're gonna do some live streaming uh, during the day from the flea market so that should be fun too so keep an eye out for that I'm not sure what time but I'll be filming that too some of you guys want to see that so um, thanks for watching again guys appreciate it Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now have a great weekend bye bye